moment. <laughs> okay, this is Dear Mama Sal. I thought I'd quickly put on some lipstick before I said hello to you. <laughs> and then you saw what happened, right? Okay, this is um, Thursday afternoon and I am on my way to doing another car. I'm on my way um, into town, about an hour away, to um, go and have lunch with lunch, have dinner with a friend of mine, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Unfortunately, I've got to go sort of backwards to go forwards on this one because I need to get. Actually, no, you know something? I can go forwards to go forwards. Now that I think about it, of course I can. Right. I just don't normally go where I'm going. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Am I safe to be driving a car, you wonder? Um, I've just realized that if I go up a few streets, I can get onto... I'm trying to get onto, onto a major highway. And um, I've just realized that I can get onto it by going north. I don't have to go south. So it's very exciting for me. Yay! All right, so here I am, and it's uh, half past four. And of course, still no twins. And uh, I'm, I'm just sort of trying to keep very calm just because I know they will come when they're good and ready and not before and that's fine with me as long as they're healthy and that Judy's okay and that everybody does well that's all I care about and so uh, I'm just thinking what it's going to be like for Judy to try and find balance when she stands up again. Do, do you know what I mean? If you're used to carrying that weight around and that you've adjusted your posture to carry twins for nine months and then suddenly the twins are in the world. Oops. The twins are in the world. That's where I have to turn. Um, then, of course, you go, that must completely change your posture. Plus, the muscles that you have been using to carry the twins up front, they're going to be overcompensated for, and the ones that you need to walk normally will be under-exercised. So I just can't help thinking that it must be a bit difficult. So for those of you who might know about that, um, I'm certain you'll educate me. My logic says it must be very different. So I'm very, very excited in my own little way, although I have absolutely <laughs> nothing to report. It's so sad. I, for some reason, I had hoped by now that I would be able to tell you everything that I knew, and I can. Nothing. <laughs> but by the time you see this, there will be hopefully other news, But um, and this will be old news, and who knows whether I'll even bother to put it up. Except... Except that I just want to say that I've had some really nice feedback from people 
on the vlogs that I've been doing this week um, and you know people thanking me for the the sort of wisdom that I've put into this week's vlogs now isn't it funny because when I talk about my own stuff I always think it's being self-serving and must be really boring and that it is um, not necessarily useful for anybody. Now isn't that weird? Now if I'm talking about helping anybody else I don't get that feeling but when I'm not feeling like I'm firing on all cylinders if you know what I mean then for some reason I think that I give less than and apparently that's not true. So that's good to hear. I'm delighted to hear that. I'm delighted to hear that even um, as you've watched me struggle, that you've got some learning from it. And the one thing that I really do appreciate is that you can see that I chose not to um, get really depressed with what was going on, I decided I would do whatever it took to keep myself above what was going on. One thing a, a therapist told me once, and it stuck with me because it made, made a lot of sense, was that when you've got stuff hitting at you from all angles, and by the way, it's been a week of that, both at home you know, and at work, um, and he said, when you got stuff hitting you, um, the best thing you can do for yourself is to stand outside it in your mind. In other words, don't get in stuck in with it. Stand outside it and observe it. I think that's how he worded it. Observe what is going on. And you know, when you observe that this is going on and it's very stressful stuff, and if you're observing and not in it, then you can say to yourself, do I choose to get in the midst of all this um, drama, if you like? And the answer is no. And for example, um, I decided to leave work early today by half an hour. And you know, somebody raised an eyebrow and I said, well, I haven't had lunch this week yet, so I'm leaving early by half an hour. I didn't ask whether I could. I just told them that's what I was doing. And the, you know, what I need to do is I need to get away from everything that's been um, at me. And the great news is I'm going to have dinner with somebody that's known me for a long, long, long time. Um, and that's two in two weeks. And she gives the greatest hugs. <laughs> And she's fun. <laughs> I really like her. She's the one that I went away with. Remember that I went away in November for that weekend? Well, we go way back. About 25 years, I think. So I'm really looking forward to it and I know I will laugh and I know that we will have some deep conversation because we always do that and um, it will be it will be well worth the evening so I am really happy about that <sighs> it is peeing rain people well it's actually not at this moment but I mean the clouds have opened up today and it was like, oh, you need some rain? You don't want snow? You'd rather have rain? Well, here you go. Here's rain. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the heavens opened up and dumped it. <laughs> you know, which is like, okay. Didn't know we needed that much. But even so, much rather have this wet stuff than that white fluffy stuff. And if you're going to give me, you know, sort of a great amount of either, give me the, um, wet, the wet stuff. So, and we did. We got quite a bit of it. It's very exciting. No snow. And I don't 
I haven't heard any rumours of that white fluffy stuff coming back anytime soon. And I think if it were going to... I know that they said it's going to probably rain all weekend. Fine. It's a creative weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. So I just... Um, realised that I haven't been telling you about the non-smoking days and I think it's about 411 or something incredible um, and I'll, I'll probably put up a Facebook note this weekend but it's a long time that's for sure it is definitely a long time and it's going to be 14 months now, just about. And nobody more surprised than I am. And yet, it seems, um, sometimes it just seems like yesterday, which is a bad thing. <laughs> because, you know, it's sort of like, okay, well, if it was any yesterday, then I can have one tomorrow. Um, which I know is not in the cards, but it's just like, I, it's how my mind you know, rationalizes it. And uh, that to me is quite, quite funny. <laughs> and so I've been talking to some other people that quit some time ago, and, and one a colleague at work uh, was quite a smoker as well. And she's been quick for about five years, and she says it's still exactly the same. And, you know, I don't know why I kept thinking it was going to be different, but I did. But apparently it's not going to get different, it just is going to be what it is. So... I'm just looking to the left here. I'm traveling a piece of road I don't come down very often. <laughs> the last time I was coming down here, um, there were a couple of um, townhouse developments here and there. This is now solid townhouse developments for about a mile. I just can't believe it. I remember when they started the first phase of this. And that is an unbelievable. Oh gosh, and they're still going on. <gasps> That is an unbelievable amount of townhouses. Wow. And I guess that's what happens with development, right? I used to live in that area. It's like a whole new city grew up inside the area where I used to live. It's scary. We've had a lot of rain. Well guys, I'm going to carry on driving and I will speak to you uh, either when I get there or later, depending on, or not at all. Wish you well, and uh, hope you're all having a good time. This is dear Mama Sal's. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, uh, maybe if you're not standing in the dark, maybe you could sort of walk a little bit this way. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so here I am. Okay, everybody, I'd like to introduce you to Gregory, Shay, okay, Gregory, and Brian, 
and of course Marnie, you know, you've met Marnie before, and we're here at the Cactus Club in Burnaby, and I came in and particularly asked for Gregory's section because I wanted to be served by him. He's busy pretending he knows what he's doing for Brian, because Brian's the new rookie. We're not going to tell Brian what we know about Gregory. Okay, nice to meet you. We'll see you again.